just going to start leaving because it will be busy. Okay. All right, hello, everybody. Um, thanks again for coming. If you are um, have more questions about EVs, um, we have a green vehicle learning drive happening in the South Lodge just down the hill from here. Um, and there's a lot of people with electric vehicles there who would be happy to um, answer any of those questions as well as dealerships. Um, so check that out. Also, tabling is still going on upstairs, so make sure you um, check out all the cool vendors up there. Um, but now we have some presentations um, from Tracy and Eric about um, demystifying cheap renewable power and home energy efficiency. So let's give it up to them. Um, so my name is Tracy, and I'm going to talk to you about buying renewable electricity for your home. Um, so it's one of the biggest impacts you can have um, from a, like a carbon footprint perspective um, from, from an individual. So um, our number one impact is usually travel, and then number two is the electricity in our home. So in Pennsylvania, we're able to choose our electricity supplier. So if you don't choose, Pico, or if Pico is your company, um, they'll choose for you, and basically it's primarily coal. Um, but you can choose renewable. So it's if you're choosing, if you're not choosing, you're basically choosing coal. Um, so if you want to switch to renewable, it is competitive. The price, um, I'll show you some different options for pricing, but it's competitive price. Pico will remain your um, provide your distributor. So you still get your bill from Pico. Um, you will still call them if you have outages or service issues. Nothing will change. Um, and I'll show you an example of what the bill will look like. Um, the suppliers that I'm going to show you are, have all been vetted by the Pennsylvania Public Utilities Commission. There's all different ways you can customize a plan, you can choose the details, and it's easy. So this is an example, this is actually a screenshot of my bill from February, it looks like. Um, so this first section, you can see the Pico electric delivery. That will always be Pico if Pico is your utility. Um, the part that you have control over is the second part, electric supply. And you can see that I have Green Mountain Energy. And then it tells you the price. So this is the price here that I was paying then. Um, and that's what you can compare. Pico has the price to compare. Um, that's what you would compare to that. The other charge for distribution, you have that regardless. You have no control over that piece. Um, so there's a website, you may have heard of it, PA Power Switch. Um, so I can hopefully show you a quick little demo of what that looks like. So you put in your zip code. And then you would click on regular residential service. Let's show it here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, well, I have a slide. This is basically what the website looks like. So you can go in PA Power Switch, you put in your zip code, you choose regular, regular residential service, and then you'll get um, a list of companies. There are some parameters you can set, and this is where you need to be careful. So there's a little bit of here in the screenshot, like variable price, fixed price. Um, it's, you know, obviously what is important to you, but some things to consider are a fixed price, then you know what you're going to be paying for the duration of the contract. The length of the contract, there are some are like three months, some are 12 months, I've seen up to like 36 months. Um, there are some of them. You can choose like no monthly fee, you can choose no cancellation fee. So whatever's important to you, you can select those and then you filter and you see which companies meet those uh, requirements. The important one, and you can't see it here unfortunately, but if you go down, um, if you were to scroll down, you would see a checkbox for renewable energy. So if you want to switch to renewable, you wanna make sure you select that checkbox. There's also one renewable PA and PA wind. So if you want, um, the renewable energy generated in Pennsylvania, you can choose some of those. And then you get a list. Um, you can, when you're looking at the list, you just want to be aware of things like the duration of the contract. Um, it'll tell you the percent renewable. So if you check renewable energy, you're not getting 100% renewable. Each one will tell you the percent renewable that they're offering. 
A lot of them are 100%, but there's some that are 25, there's some that are 50. So that's all um, you know, things to just be aware of. And then if you see something you like, you can click and see a little bit more information about that company. And there may be some plans they offer that didn't show up here, but they're on their own website. So some, like I was saying, some of the things you want to be aware of, um, primarily it's wind. It's not over 90% wind, but there are some that have a certain percentage of solar. Um, so if that's important to you, you can look into which ones offer solar and what percentage that is. There are some options with local Pennsylvania. Um, a lot of the wind comes from Texas. So depending on where, and if you want to invest in Pennsylvania, you can do that. Um, and then some of the things just to be aware of, um, some offer it's you know a three month contract. So you're gonna get that rate only for three months and then it will change. Um, a lot of them are 12 or longer, but be aware of any introductory rates because after that, sometimes the price becomes variable or it could go up. Um, and if there's cancellation fees, monthly fees, all that stuff will be there. So you can compare so you know what you're looking at. Um, so there's some companies that are independently owned. There's companies, um, I have mine through Green Mountain. They're owned by a parent company, which also has fossil fuels. So if that's something you don't, if that's something that's important to you, you don't want you know, to use a company whose parent company has fossil fuels, you can you know, be aware of that. The co-op is local, a nonprofit. Um, that's a good option if that's something that's important to you. So there's, you know, whatever is your priority, there are a lot of options. However, if that is all overwhelming and you just want cheap renewable energy, there is the PICO Smart Energy Program. And this is what I did and um, a lot of people I know have done. Um, it's the easiest and it is very cost competitive. So what you do is you would call this 800 number and it's, they would, normally the way it works is they assign you a company and it's, there's a bunch of different companies that participate. The only one that is renewable that we're aware of is Green Mountain Energy. So you can request them and they'll give you Green Mountain if you ask for it. Um, you're locking in at 7% below Pico's price to compare on the day you sign up. And it's fixed for 12 months. There's no cancellation fee. If you, when your 12 months are up, well, when it's about 11 months, they'll send you a letter and let you know that your contract is gonna be expiring. And all you could do is call the number again and lock in for another 12 months. I just did that in October. Um, so it's very simple and you have a very competitive rate for renewable energy. And this is just the detailed steps. Um, I know that's a very busy slide. Um, so if you wanna come upstairs, um, room 225, it's right off um, the, room, the room with all the tables in it. It's kind of right off there. Um, we can, you know, answer your questions. We can walk through anything here um, that you saw. We have a um, computer. We can go on some of the sites and look stuff up for you and show you, since, you know, I wasn't able to show you here, um, you know, show you what the, what the sites look like. Are there any questions? And I would offer one thing, and you, you touched on it, and super, super careful you pick um, fixed rate. Yes. <laughs> because if it's variable, they will change it on you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and this so this one is a fixed rate for 12 months, but if you go through a power switch and you want to choose something more specific, be aware of the fixed rate versus the variable rate, because the variable will change. Usually higher. Yeah, <laughs> fortunately. Um, is there an idea, and I, I, I guess this would be some kind of asking you to favor one company or the other, right? At the end of the day, I mean, obviously, uh, the amount of energy production out of Pennsylvania isn't 100% renewable. So if everyone in Pennsylvania changed over to 100% renewable, I don't see how that would be possible. Can you explain, like, how, how does this work, actually, in terms of production versus, you know, distribution, and how can they tell me it's 100% renewable? Right. Yeah, so you're just connected to the grid, so the power that's coming to your house isn't renewable. But every time someone switches, the overall mix on the grid is getting cleaner and cleaner because the more people are buying renewables, so that creates more demand for renewable. And then they have to generate more renewable to meet that demand. So 
And so knowing that, is there any one particular company that would actually, where your investment would go further in actually producing greater green energy production in Pennsylvania, I guess, other than obviously, I if think, you could buy 100% PA renewable? Yeah, I think probably the energy co-op, because um, that's very local um, and it's, it's renewable. Um, and as far as the other ones, I don't, I'm just a volunteer and I don't work for any of these companies. Um, but you could but filter on, on the PA power switch by PA renewable mm -hmm. as well. Um, so you can select that. That's yeah, I just know if any of these companies actually had more skin in the game in terms of actually producing more, you know, actually investing in more green energy right. production than others. Yeah, that's probably, so they're like, if that's something important to you, then, um, you know, you could get, a, you could go and get like a kind of a sub list of which companies have it, do, go dig a little deeper and, and see exactly what they're doing. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have a question because sure. I don't think I belong here. Um, this is only on solar then, right? This no. has nothing to do with the people that are calling me every single day, three or four times. This stuff, this is, that's what this is. And we can change your rate? This is to, you can choose your provider. So. Yeah, but, but they so don't do renewal. They're trying to get. like that. No, they do some this renewal, some solar. don't. No, this yeah. is mostly wind actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, some right. of them, the people well, that are calling you. I just have electric. Yeah, so you're, if you just get it through Pico, it's mostly coal. Um, so you can choose who your provider is. Oh, okay. So okay. it could be okay. one of these companies that's renewable or one that's not. And that's, that's okay. basically what it's about. If you want to come here, so you want to come here I, can, I can walk you through it. <laughs> so yes. Pico defaults to coal because it's cheap? Right? It's not 100% coal. Um, it's do you know the percentages? I think it's about 40% nuclear, 40, mid 40s natural gas, high 30s of coal, and renewable currently is less than 5% of all the electricity we consume. So but that's why um, having people switch and do what Tracy said is important to get that, uh, have consumer demand and drive that, I think it's 4%, up and up and up. And that's, what's, that's why. Um, is this there any is reason Pico's not doing that on their own? It's a public policy issue. So the, the PUC, the Pennsylvania Utilities Commission, sets a, a minimum threshold for renewables, and that's something that is political. So, um, <laughs> you know, so they set a, a number, and I forget what it is now. It's really low. It reflects what, what Steve was saying. Um, and there are arguments about whether it should be 10, 15, 20% of the grid, which we see in some more progressive states that maybe don't have fossil fuels in their local economies. So New England states, for example, have a much higher renewables threshold. And you can imagine the battle that would ensue in Pennsylvania if you know, they tried to raise that cap. And, and, and PICO and, and PICO is owned by Exelon, which owns other utilities all over the country, the biggest in the country. Oh, very few, small amount of its generation. Um, and so in some sense, they don't care where you buy it from. And if you don't specify, it'll be the cheapest, whatever that is, which right now would be a mixture of gas and coal and um, nuclear, mostly. So if, you don't, if you don't make this decision, that's what you're sending your money for every month. Yeah. And if I can just ask, you're talking about this, you're talking about minimum threshold. So it's public policy that the PUC demands that there has to be a minimum of four or five percent. Yes. Yeah. So it's floor on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but effectively, it's ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's if ten or twenty percent of people say they want renewable, then the grid will be ten or twenty percent renewable. Um, or if the state demands. Right. Okay. So. But the economics are definitely shifting, which is one of the most exciting things about renewables. So if you look, if, if you're if you're putting in a new uh, electricity power plant, whether it, you, know, you have to choose, you just have a grassy field and you want to put coal or natural gas or nuclear or wind or, or solar on, renewables are now, if you look at the levelized cost, cheaper. Um, it's, of course, cheaper to keep your current fossil fuel plants going. But when they add new capacity, it's now cheaper to add wind and solar quite a lot in a lot of parts of the country. So the consumer demand is uh, pushing that. And, and, and that's why it's important for people, like we're, we're doing this as just citizens saying, 
mostly used, the energy used in this township is by residents. And getting residents changing and converting is much more important than big institutions like Hartford College or Hartford Township because the energy used by houses is much higher. So the more we can get people to buy renewable or get their friends, the cleaner the grid will get quicker. So it's kind of like a, a marketing citizen to citizen. <laughs> so that's 